The Entitled Boxing Game Discord server has disgusting staff members. Now to understand why, let me tell you what events led me to make this video. Now this is my first video I'm making to where I'm attacking them. Although my other videos on the subject have been me just defending myself from false allegations these people like to throw at me. Now to start this all off, I found out this mod whose name is Anthony, and is 24 by the way, trying to meet up with this underage girl named Annabella. Once I caught Anthony trying to do this, I talked to some fellow content creators and mods about it, and we were trying to come up with a way to get him banned off the server. That was until Annabella got wind of our plan and started telling Anthony about everything we were planning to do. They then conspired together and made a Google document on me being a quote-unquote pedo and sent it to the entire Untitled Boxing Game server with zero context. Now, the majority of people in that server are little kids, so when they see something like that, they just assume whoever is accusing is right. Now, luckily, after I post that 7-stacking video, people finally realized it was all lies. But now, because of it, people can't even say the word pyro or say anything positive about me in the entitled boxing game discord without being banned permanently. Anyways, in a nutshell, they made allegations against me saying that I groomed this Annabella girl and that I forced her into a relationship with me. They would also photoshop messages like this one here and say that I really did send it, but I mean, come on. Seriously, look at it. Now, they also said that she was 15, which I know for a fact is false. The reason why is because I remember back when she said she was 16. For a little more context, when I was actually still friends with Seven Stacking, Annabella was in our friend group, so the three of us would talk a lot. Now, she would also send me messages like this during this time. I actually made a bad judgment call to not block her during this time because I thought if I did, it would create drama between the friend group we had. Turns out, me not doing it actually made it worse though, as when she realized I wasn't into her and I caught Amp trying to meet up with her, it made her side with Anthony. Then, you know, they made the documents. I just remembered right now that she also said in the document that I sent her nudes. I did not. Matter of fact, just to prove it, I give you full permission, Annabella, to send the apparent nudes I sent you, because I know there is none. Now, I then made this video to get them off my back, and then at the same time, Anthony got demoted because he was on a break. Just to make this clear, you do not get demoted just because you're taking a break. That's like if you got fired from your job just because you use your vacation day. I also wanted to add, does this look like the things somebody would say if they were actually being quote unquote groomed? Also, now regarding seven stacking, the person who helped Anthony make that cropped up evidence exposed video on me, his friend Iris, the guy in like 90% of his videos, actually joined my server and told me everything he thought about seven stacking. He said things like seven stacking starts accusing you of being a pedophile again. I've been skeptical about his claims for a while, told him that his accusations were getting out of hand and that he needed to stop spreading lies. It ended with me telling him I couldn't trust him anymore if he kept this up. Now, what does that really tell you when your friend and the person you make the most content with turns on you? Should be obvious he realized he was a liar. Anyways, back to this wannabe victim. One of my trusted friends reached out to her and tried to get through to her one last time. He asked for a private convo. The goal was to create peace, but she didn't want that and just wanted to argue. When she realized she was losing the argument with logic and proof, she started getting mad and was telling my friend to get the fuck out. She states that my 7 stacking video had no debunking in it at all, which is an obvious lie. She then says that I'm breaking the law over a one year age difference, which is also ridiculous, saying that she could never have consented because of the one year age gap. Then she starts talking about my video views, saying that I don't get the views to face charges, then goes and tries telling them that if someone reported my video, I would face charges. Somebody get this girl in a mental asylum now! I live in Texas, so they then start talking about the Romeo and Juliet law which allows a three-year age gap so let's say I'm wrong let's say every single thing this girl has said is true let's say she's 15 like she said well I'm still innocent because of the Romeo and Juliet law idiot she then tries telling him that she has a statement that contradicts the law she is delusional again he asks for peace one last time with the hope that she finally realizes she's being unreasonable and crazy she then says that doesn't disprove anything. The law. The law doesn't disprove anything. Hit the school hell base. Then says she doesn't want to be on good terms after the harm I caused her and others. 
If he wanted peace, he wouldn't be attacking other YouTubers. That's funny because all I've done so far is defend myself. This is my first time attacking back so I can get these allegations over with. Yeah, so she's spitting straight nonsense. Then my friend just comes back and puts her in reality real quick. Anyways, he then shows proof that this girl who made the allegations on me that I disproved in my 7 stacking video is now telling me that she regrets what she did and still quote unquote loves me. She thinks she's a Disney princess or something the way she's typing it. It hurts my head just reading this. So after she realized she completely lost the argument, she banned him off the entitled boxing game server for Pyro Defender. She then acts like she has no idea at all why he's banned, even though it's very obvious she did it. Another thing I want to get out the way is that I forgot to prove one thing in the 7 stacking video I made, that I have Crohn's. I had his video linked in my description box to show people what he said about me and compare the two videos if they wanted to. He then started having a crybaby fit in his own comment section saying things like he is gonna make a part two and it will prove wrong all of my lies also telling people i always got high and that my crones aren't fatal anyways i unlinked the video from my description box because of it and finally here's the proof i have crones i hate my life